Okay, before I talk about this thing that really pissed me off, I gotta get this off my chest. If you're in heaven or hell watching some videos on the internet, Christian Wall, you gotta hear me this. Why the fuck did you do that shit? I mean, you're one of the best wrestlers of all time, and you had to do that to your child and wife? Let alone the kid that was mentally disabled? What the fuck? You just probably fucked yourself in the ass for not getting in the Hall of Fame now. You ever thought of that? The WWE is erasing everything about you. And, and to be honest... <laughs> and to be honest... I'm gonna put that down. And to be honest... You made a mistake doing that shit. I mean, you're one of the best wrestlers of all time and you just made a mistake by dropping the ball by killing your wife and child. Let alone yourself. I mean, that shit's fine worse than getting fired. That doesn't take it worse than death itself. Being erased from memory when no one thinks about you. I will remember I will always remember you for being an excellent wrestler. But as a person, you're really fucked up. Okay. First thing, uh, now mind my business. I'm here to talk about things that really piss me off, and it's about things that either get no hype or get way, way too much hype. More on this little thing later, but it's going to be involved in it. It's going to be big. As I was saying, things that get under hyped, like that movie, like there's films that get under hyped, they get no hype. They have hype called called Grindhouse and Snakes on the Plane. Now those films could have been hyped, but to be honest, nobody saw those films in theaters. I mean, Snakes on the Plane only made ten million, and uh, because the Grindhouse opening on Easter weekend, it didn't make shit. I mean, what the fuck? I've seen it, and it's probably one of the best and worst films ever. One of the best because it's really cool. One of the worst because it's definitely not for everyone. I mean, it's really, really violent. It's gross, too. And I just wanted to get you better on for that. <laughs> okay. Now the time of things get way too overhyped. I'm talking about Shrek. Now, I enjoyed the first two Shrek films, but when number three came around, I was hoping it'd be great. But to be honest, it's nowhere near as good as it should have been. In fact, it almost had, it almost got another overhyped as, as, as DreamWorks' as other, as, uh, other overhyped masterpiece. That would be Madagascar. Which has some of the most annoyingly stereotypical characters I've ever seen in any goddamn Henry Fowl! Oh, and also, when they released Shrek the Third movie during the commercials, they have failed that Shrek was a daddy! This thing is a little baby. And it's Shrek's little daughter. Now he has two other two children, but he, but the concern they show that shit is in a commercial and it's probably the most over worst cut secret in any film ever. Shut the f up! God damn, I'm not doing annoying. As I was saying, I don't like stuff to get overhyped, like video games, games like 50 Cent Bulletproof, that was way overhyped, because it sucked balls. Games that get no hype, like Klonoa or other Mega Man games later, nowadays. Another video game to get overhyped, of course, is Madden, because I think it's an overrated franchise, in my opinion. I don't care what any of these dumbasses say. And for that, I, well, I, I will apologize for people calling, uh, calling people dumbasses, but I will apologize for this. Madden is overrated! And, first thing, okay, bottom line. Oh, uh, stuff that get underhyped deserves more attention, and stuff that get overhyped deserves hardly none. That's my cue, bitches. Bye-bye.